answering the question, where did all the bees go? That's right now, in motion. In October of 06, we moved some semi-loads of bees to Florida. Uh, went back three weeks later, and uh, only to find it in one particular location, or well, several, but one particular location, that there was 400 hives we put there three weeks before that. We came back, and they were all gone except for uh, approximately 30 some hives of bees that were left. Dave Hackenberg has been keeping bees bee all of his adult life. He manages two apiaries, one in Florida and the other in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, about 70 miles from University Park. The unique disappearance that he details was one of the first documented cases of a disorder that has affected apiaries across the country. Baffled by the problem, Dave looked to the entomology department at Penn State for some answers. I thought it was mites, and I said, well, bring me some bees and I'll look for mites. And I was sure we were going to find a lot of mites to explain it. It was pretty clear that that didn't happen, that it wasn't mites. And then we started hearing reports from across the country. And so by January of that year, it was clear it was happening across the country. And that's where in a conference call, we termed the term CCD. Colony Collapse Disorder, or CCD, became the center of discussion at most apiaries. While CCD poses a serious threat to beekeepers and different crop growers, beekeepers have seen an overall steady decline in the number of pollinator bee colonies over the last few years. It's also clear that this term CCD, these colonies dying with that very distinct set of symptoms, are now the minority of colonies that are dying over the winter. However, because of this, we've started counting the number of dead colonies that occur in the country every year. And we found that the level of loss every year is still the same. It's just about 30% or better every year, the, all the colonies in the country, 30% die. So one in every three colonies die every winter. And that's alarming in itself. Um, and what we're finding is that colonies are dying from a lot of different causes. And so I think this whole CCD, even though CCD now probably isn't killing most of the colonies, I think that what it's doing is it's telling us that there's a lot going on in this bee population. With the alarm set off by Dave Hackenberg, Penn State Pollinator Research moved to the center stage in the quest for answers to this strange problem. Basically, the department got thrust into the forefront of colony collapse disorder research right from the beginning. Um, and so, again, for the, the following three years, people were working together in collaborative groups and with um, colleagues nationally and internationally to, to deal with these issues. But we decided in the fall of 2009 that we should actually make a formal group, um, and we called it the Center for Pollinator Research. And the idea was to, to basically take advantage of all the resources that we had already developed and try to create new ones um, for, for future studies. Drawing on the vast knowledge base of university researchers, field operators, and educators, the Penn State Center for Pollinator Research was conceived and born. The ultimate goal of the center will be to improve pollinator health as well as conservation and management of their ecosystems. And with this union, the next step was to get as many policymakers, industry leaders, government officials, researchers, scientists, and beekeepers in one venue to talk about pollinators and their, and ultimately our, well-being. This conference, which is the first international conference on uh, pollinator biology, uh, is really uh, remarkable and unique in that it brings together uh, constituency groups that have never really assembled in one place before and uh, getting these groups to communicate with each other is absolutely essential in addressing this pollination crisis. Developing the Center for Pollinator Research and holding the very first international conference on pollinator biology, health, and policy solidifies Penn State's position on the worldwide stage in the war on CCD and any other threats to bees and other pollinators both wild and managed. And by having this conference, it was I think, really necessary for the community, but also it allows you know, us to become something of a, what I hope is going to be a clearinghouse for information about pollinator research and pollinator issues worldwide. And so by, by starting it here, we can, we can basically establish that. And then in the future, we hope to continue this conference probably every two or three years and potentially moving it to other sites as, as hopefully people volunteer to, to host it. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.